For this month's Made in Wisconsin story, I wanted to highlight a woman-owned business right here in Milwaukee, and a quick search online gave me a lot of options, but Soul Brew Kombucha stood out because of the owner's spirit and my longtime curiosity about the beverage. Let's start with the first basic question I have, and that is, what is kombucha? <laughs> kombucha is a probiotic tea. Yes, those drinks you see in the health food store coolers with the floaty thing in them are indeed healthy. Everyone's afraid to drink it, but it's actually really, really good for you. The health benefits of kombucha are what drew Alicia Miller to start making the drink. The former school teacher was struggling with a pre-diabetic diagnosis, and friends recommended she try kombucha, known to lower cholesterol and blood sugar and be good for your gut health. So she started experimenting with making it. It started in my linen closet, actually, in little mason jars, and I went to my pantry. From the pantry, I went to my mother's spare bedroom. Today, Soul Brew Kombucha is made inside the Lincoln Warehouse in Milwaukee's Harborview neighborhood where Miller and her staff of six make gallons of the stuff, canning and bottling it for local stores around Milwaukee. When she applied for her licenses to brew kombucha, she learned she is the first black woman in Milwaukee and Wisconsin to produce it commercially. She admits it is sometimes a hard sell within the black community. With Soul Brew, I'm like, how can I mix the worlds, make it delicious, make it approachable, and then try to educate individuals who would never do it. I think I represent the community in a way that they're able to see somebody that looks like them. Aside from the floaty pellicle that some are hesitant to drink, kombucha is a fermented tea, and part of making it calls for this thing. Yeah, I know it looks a little bit scary, but it's essential to the process. It's called a SCOBY, or symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. All right, so you ready to grab us a SCOBY? This looks disgusting. <laughs> Don't I know it that. tastes good at the end. Do not talk to them like that. They need positivity. Okay, All right, so, so you're going to take the, both okay, hands. Both hands, yeah, because it's slippery. In. You feel that? She's oh, yeah. dense, right? Oh, yeah. Get the whole thing. Go on in just there. Go right in here. The kombucha will ferment for a week to 14 days, depending on the season, and creates a natural carbonation. It's flavored towards the end, and eventually it is filtered, then bottled or canned and ready to go. Also, it's ready for a taste. This is kind of like a cocktail. It's a mocktail. A mocktail. Yeah. Tastes like a mocktail. I wasn't really sure what to expect there when I tasted it. Uh, you could currently pick up Soul Brew at Outpost stores and Stone Creek coffee shops around the Milwaukee area. You can order it online as well, where I saw yesterday that she's got a special deal for Women's History Month. Alicia tells me that she has expanded to Madison, so a lot of this yeah. state here, but she'd like to go across the state and then beyond, uh, of course, nationwide. So I had had kombucha one other time years and years ago, and I wasn't particularly fond of it. The flavor was very good here, and I wasn't afraid of the little pellicle because I had seen yeah. what it was to make it with the SCOBY, and I thought, well, okay, here we go. Like, I drink kombucha yeah. all the time. I, I never knew how it Is was made, and I think my jaw was dropping yeah. as you were showing the process of the SCOBY and what it's made out of. And, it, ooh. it feels very weird, but it's all part of the process for it to ferment, yeah. and, you know, and then they make it and then it goes into the stores. You have to keep it cold. It has shelf life of a few months or whatnot, and it doesn't really have alcohol in it. If you, if you keep letting it ferment, it would. And so they're looking at different ways to do hard kombucha and things like that. But it's out there and it's healthy for you, I yeah. guess. So try it if you are brave enough.